Welcome back, everybody. My name is Jao Bagel, and this is Game Over Cancer. Up next, we have a game which I have just been informed is called Love 3. The category is Love 1, 2, 3, brought to you by Hepinwana. Hepinwana, take it away. All right. Hello, everyone. I am Hepinwana. Thank you for letting me be here for you tonight, especially sandwiched between two of my all-time favorites. I just want to say Bug Doctor's run of Star Tropics was just chef's kiss. Beautiful, fantastic. And I'm excited coming up next, of course, is going to be some uh, Final Fantasy IV free enterprise style rando stuff, which is great. So Love 3, though. What is Love 3? Love 3 is a very, uh, very basic looking uh, trichromatic uh, precision platformer. We have the ability to run, we can jump, we can put checkpoints wherever we want, and we can die. We could die by choice with a quick little go back to checkpoint button that will kill us, or we will die because this is a very tricky precision platformer. We're going to die a lot. And because I want to see us bring money in because F cancer. I hate cancer. I have known far too many people who have died from cancer, who have suffered suffered from cancer. I want to bring in some money. So for every time I die, I am going to donate 25 cents at the end of this run. It's going to count up all of my debts. Um, I hope anyone out there will join me. Maybe not 25 cents. I'll just say my death count is going to be in the triple digit range because that's how this game goes. But if you want to donate cents per death something like that join me for this i'll explain more about the game as we go along so this game has a lot of level sets love 3 is the third in the love trilogy surprise surprise love 3 would be the third one uh there are a bunch of level sets there is love 3 there is love the original release love 2 kuso and because of the bid war we're going to do Love 1, 2, and 3, and either it's going to be the original Love uh, 1 set or the remastered, and it looks like the Bid War says it's the remastered. Uh, Love 1 level sets were remastered when Love 2 came out to make them a little more polished, a little more fun for casual play, and a little bit easier for speedrunning, but also a little more in my opinion, a little more fun. So we're going to go ahead and do Love 1 plus 2 plus 3 remastered 100%. 100% means we need to get every secret, and those secrets are going to get progressively more tricky as we go along. I'll tell you all about them as we start playing. But for right now, we're going to get ready to go. And we're going to go get ready on the timer in 3, 2, one go all right so this game is a very simple in appearance game uh we're just running along uh every stage is made up of four elements there is the soundtrack which is amazing every every stage has a unique song which is just a banger uh every stage also has black things black things are and that's a collectible right there that's one of the secrets uh, black things are the background. It is nothingness. It is what we run through. There are colored items in each stage. It's going to be a different color. Last stage, it was green. Now it's kind of this uh, peachy orange. This stage is going to go by very quick, by the way. And then there is white. White is typically things that kill you, like this static down below, those spikes on previous stages. Uh, white is also bounce pads. It is uh, collectibles like that one right there. We have now collected in our collectible. By the way, as I said, 25 cents per death, and I just died a bunch of times there. Some intentional, some unintentional. And if you notice that little ghost of me left behind, that is my checkpoint. I could put a checkpoint wherever I want. However, if that checkpoint is left somewhere where I would die, the checkpoint will die. And what does that mean? It means if we die, we are going back to the beginning of the stage. So, ooh, did not quite hit that perfect. Oh, a little early on that jump. Like I said, we're 
we're bringing in money with every death, so it's sad that I died because there goes a little bit of my time, but it is exciting that I died because that is more money. So the beginning stages, the first 16 are Love One. Love One is the first game in this series. Uh, Fred Wood is the de developer um, and pretty much made the entire series on his own, except for the music, which is made by, I believe it's Michael Bennett. Uh, so that there, the cake was not a lie. We found the secret cake right back there. But as we go through, we are going to keep moving along in these stages. You might be wondering, what is the purpose of this game? Besides not dying and staying alive, going through as quick as we can. I missed that jump just a little bit. Um, so the theme in this game is 5-8 is our main character. 5-8 is named that because he is... Ooh, that is 50 cents right there from two quick deaths in a row. And we'll just add another 25 cents right there as well. 5-8 is uh, named that because he is five of his pixels wide and eight pixels tall. And 5-8 is trying to find friends. He is in the post-apocalypse. The world has ended. Machines are running the place. Uh, there is chaos. There are... Just bad things all around. That was a miss jump. Uh, once again, another miss jump. But it's all good because, like I said, 25 cents per death, and we're just going to bring that in at the end of this run. I am just slightly getting through marathon jitters. Marathon jitters, where you definitely have the shaky hands because you're way too excited and hoping to have a great run. But we're going to go through this uh, right now. We are trying to find friends for 5-8. And when Love 1 came out, we did not have a good conclusion of will 5-8 find friends in the post-apocalypse. Uh, Love 2. <sighs> Love 2, we also had the same issue, but Love 3, which came out just a year and a half ago, Fred Wood finally gave us the conclusion to if we're going to get friends or not. You might notice, very important thing with this game is cycles. This is very cycle-based. And because of that, we are going to take advantage of cycles to try and move through very quickly. Sometimes if we die, we will end up on a bad cycle or an in-between cycle, which is something I've seen on a previous level earlier. Right here, we are now entering into the most dreaded stage possible. This is the worst thing. If you are a speedrunner, you know what you're looking at. You know how bad this is. It's an auto-scroller. We are paralyzed here. We can only move as quick as the furthest forward platform. Speaking of which, if there are any donations or announcements, this is a perfect time because we're just chilling with platforms. Yep, I've got a couple of donations for you. $15 from Bug Doctor saying, thanks for having me. Let's hit that next goal. And another $50 from One More Time at GFSN saying, greetings from the Mega Man community. That gets us even closer, even closer to our $4,000 goal. We are just under, uh, actually just uh, over $300 left uh, to, to get there. Um, only about $240 remaining to get to that $4,000 goal. So let's keep it up. Awesome. All right, now we are done with the auto scroller and we are in the belly of the beast. Well, not the belly yet. We will be there soon enough. We just went through the jaws of the beast. The great thing about this game is the aesthetics are amazing because you will go from sharp angles and um, kind of mechanical look to all of a sudden being insane that's a little more rough and a little more organic in feel. 
You'll notice I am always taking advantage of putting checkpoints down because those checkpoints are going to be my lifeline. If you put one in a bad place, you will regret it. If you forget to put one down and you make a silly mistake, oh, you are going to regret that as well. Um, but we are going to go through this very organic feeling like we are in a rotting beast of some sort. Put a checkpoint there and we are going to grab that collectible, take a death, go to our checkpoint, that saves us some frames, and all of a sudden we go from organic and kind of uh, non-linear type of design to very angular and very, very rigid mechanical looking. And I missed that perfect cycle. There is a little trick right there. If you hit that right, you will have pretty much a frame perfect. Just run through everything, but it didn't quite work out. That was unfortunate. So this stage is kind of tricky because you have to move against these bullets at one point and then with these bullets. We also get, ah. Uh, poor move right there so i'm just going to say that was on purpose to raise some money for a great cause so with that right there we have mario running mario running is the ability to run across small gaps without falling through it like that one right there however at the same time if you stop in the middle of one of those like if you're playing super mario you will fall through and we are going to take advantage of that for several points in this run as we run across gaps, but also get ready to fall through gaps. That was unfortunate as well. We're going to try a cycle skip here and we barely missed that. Uh, if we got it, it would have saved us a couple, maybe a second and a half, but it's all good. We're going to take a leap of faith, go down here jump over so right here we could drive this platform through that white spike that white spike would have killed us but because we drove the platform through it we were able to jump over to the other side and go on through now we are going to see teleporters by the way we are almost done with love one stages there is only one more left and I like to say right now is the right time to show some love. If you have love emotes, go ahead, pop those up in chat. Ooh. And so the last level in every uh, level set, uh, love, love two, I am barely missing that. I don't know why I was missing that so bad, but the last stage in each level set is going to be what I call a final exam. We're going to see all the things we have seen leading up to this, such as that slow tube from level four where we saw the cake is a lie. We're going to see those Yoko bricks uh, just right out of Mega Man, like if you're watching earlier today, the great Mega Man block filled with Yoko bricks. This one right here is one of the trickiest areas get through because those drops do not care if you are having fun or not they want to take you out but we are seeing all of these elements from previous stages and that is going to be what makes for a final exam of love one and now we're almost done with what you all donated for the bid war and now we're going into love two kuso love two kuso is the second game of the love franchise uh, made by fred wood came out i believe in 2017 it's a little bit ooh. Don't normally die there. That's a little jitteriness. Uh, it's a little bit more refined than the Love 1 levels, but also it has another great secret. Uh, five of the collectibles are going to be guarded by Charlie the cat. There is Charlie. Any of those collectibles will actually have a little meow. It's a digitized meow from Fred Wood's cat, Charlie. Unfortunately, Charlie is not with us anymore, but no better way to say how much you love your pet than to put your pet into a game. 
And of course, we are going to see Charlie a total of five times in this run. Going to play a little safe there. Not so safe there though, huh? <laughs> All right. We'll grab that. And now we are in another stage where we are going to see Charlie. This is one of the easier stages to miss the collectible because it is there is hidden collectibles, and then there is this stage. Wait until you see what we are gonna have to do to get this collectible. And it will require 25 cents for the emission fee because we are going to take a intentional death. There is Charlie again. And we run on through, and now we're on this pink stage. This stage, is filled with essentially just a mix of bounce pads and bullet-like projectiles just shooting back and forth. And it's up to us to get through this without losing too many lives, which we did. This stage is also in a sense like an auto scroller. However, if we do control the movement, but you can only go as fast as this. You cannot go quicker than that. And we're just going to continue on through. We sh Ooh, I am just hitting. There is a lot of um, pretty much pixel perfect jumps. And this game has a very tight, tight window for a lot of things. And I am just hitting a lot of them really, really just barely off cycle. So we're going to go for a cycle skip here. By the way, I put that checkpoint down and you'll see it die. Ooh, did not want that to happen. So we are going to be slightly off on our cycles here. I am going to need to take a second to recalculate. There we go. Unfortunately, if you do fall off cycle in this game, it can be kind of tricky to find out where you should be in terms of cycles. Also, because we fell off cycle, getting that collectible became a little trickier, but we are gonna just make up for it by continuing on and take a big leap of faith back there. Continue through this stage is really tricky on web three. If you play this on web two, it is not nearly as hard. Uh, web two has a lot more lenient of coyote jumps than web three. If you don't know what coyote jumps are, if you are familiar with Wiley Coyote and Roadrunner, uh, Wiley Coyote would run off of ledges and still have gravity play in his favor as he stood there holding a sign saying, Welp, huh, I made a mistake. Well, that is coyote jumping. Coyote jumping is when you can run off a ledge and still have a couple frames to get a little bit of a jump in. Uh, Love 2 had very, very lenient coyote jumps. Love 3, not nearly as lenient. Le uh, lenient, cannot even speak. My mouth is running too fast for my brain to keep up. So we are gonna continue through onto a slightly slower, more mellow stage right here. This stage is, if you're playing on any percent and just running through as quick as possible, really easy to get through. It is never stopping, just constant movement. However, doing it for 100% where you have to get that collectible, it does require you slow down. You cannot just keep moving. You do have to take a little bit of time. This stage here always makes me think of a moving up through like some sleepy beast or something. It's kind of slow, kind of organic feeling, but almost like you're in a dream. And now we're going to see one of the most unusual collectibles in this run. 
we will wait for those. We are going to go way out of bounds intentionally. We are we are only going to do one glitch in this entire run that actually takes us out of bounds in any way. And I made a mistake there. I did not want to hit checkpoint. Checkpoint just put us into the wrong spot. I meant to keep my checkpoint right back here because then I could have death warped right back to it. I am just way too excited for this run and way too marathon nerves. <laughs> Got the nice shakes going, but it's all good. So for all that downward movement we did in that last stage, we worked our way down. Now we are going to work our way back up and also deal with, oh, I thought I was going to miss that. We are going to deal with Yoko Bricks. which are very much right out of Mega Man action. We just have wait for the timing on these bricks. We are taking an intentional death there to grab that collectible. Next stage, we just gotta keep moving and we're going to hope for a perfect cycle match. There we go, we grab that collectible. If you do not go right away and hit the perfect cycle there, you will end up losing a lot of time. And truth be told, I am horrible at that stage if I die once because falling off that initial cycle is just a mess all around. So this stage, nice and chill. And because it is so chill, you know what that means. We need a little Charlie. There we go, let's hear that meow. All right, we got chill, so let's get upbeat. Let's get that energy going. I love the music right here, the red color, the flames coming down. You can't help but feel like everything is getting high energy right about now. So we will continue on through. Keep in mind, we are going to see more of these helipod guys coming up, but we're especially going to see them when it comes to Love 3. Love 3 is where those helipods will really make a huge difference. You might be wondering how long until we're in Love 3. Well, we will be in Love 3 in about five or six stages. So we are around stage 20 of Love 2. Like I said, we're playing through Love 1, 2, 3, all of them together. Another intentional death right there to get that collectible. Avoid these bullets. Do a little dancing around them right there. Avoid that. And if you time right, you could get through two of those smashers in one go. And here we go. We are going to try for a cycle skip here. And we got it. Normally, I do not get that. That is about a frame perfect trick to get through that. You're intended to go through on the next cycle. I'm going to get a little quiet here and go for a major cycle skip. So this right here, very, 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 very hard, very hard. You're meant to take those side platforms for safety. But we got through that, and now final Charlie. Goodbye, Charlie, we will miss you. But unfortunately, Charlie is only in love too. If you have cat emotes, show some cat love for Charlie. Charlie is a good kitty, every kitty's good, but especially that there was good kitty Charlie. Kill some checkpoints, just for fun. And now we are nearing the end of Love 2. Love 3 is where things are going to get a lot more, ooh. Love 3 is going to be where things are going to get a lot more interesting because we are going to have to work for our collectibles. We are not going to be able to do easy collectible collecting in Web 3. And this here is the penultimate uh, stage. We're meant to run left and right, back and forth to have that gun shoot out those platforms. However, we're speed running. We don't have time for that. I will pay the admission price of, you know, a quarter or two, 25 cents per death, 
please do join me with some donations for it if you want. And we will pay that admission price so we could get through a little bit quicker. This here is the final stage of Love 2. Just like with the final stage of Love 1, it is like a, a final exam. We're going to see everything we saw before. Remember those guns on that blue stage that were shooting at me? Well, here they are. Do you remember the orange stage with that big motor thing? There you go. We are going to see everything. Remember those elevators where I said there were side safety platforms? Well, here are those elevators. We are going to see all of these challenges from previous stages coming back, but also with one of my favorite songs from any video game, because listen to this just prog rock banger right here. Oh, from that red stage, here are those things that tried smashing me. From the other red stage, here are those um, helipods. We're going to see a lot more of the helipods coming up in Web 3. By the way, this is bullet hell right here. So we are going to now enter Web 3. Love 3, every secret is actually a puzzle game. So we have a precision platformer we are rushing through, but we also have a puzzle to solve on every stage. In this stage, we need to go right there, right there, come up here, go right there, and that opens this area. If we did not hit those, they would not open up. By hitting them, we can collect that secret. In this stage, we're going to have another secret we have to unlock. Every stage going forward is going to be about unlocking the secret. How do we unlock it? Well, if you're playing casually, you would probably be pretty confused by it. This one, we had to bring that saw blade over there across that weird little icon on the ground that opened this area. We hit that and we turn off the traps and we continue on. This one, we're going to have to go back to childhood. I don't know if you are like me, but I remember childhood playing on the playground at recess. And one of the things we love to play, jump rope. I like to believe I'm not so old that jump rope is a unknown thing. Well, we're going to do a little jump rope right here. So right over here, we can't see the bullet behind me, which is bad news. Two, three, four, five. There we go, jumping rope. We open this up. We go over here. This shuts down everything. We made a bad jump there. Eh, it cost us 75 cents to do that secret. And now we have a water level. If you're anything like me, you know water levels are never fun in games. I always hate them. I mean, think of the water temple in Ocarina of Time. Think of any Mario water stage. They're always horrible. Luckily, these are actually not too bad. They're almost fun. Not quite fun, but almost. There's our collectible. And now, we also have the fun of water making no sense. So we have water, but if we fall down below the water, there's air. But then there is water in this brick that's just moving, moving along on its own. Special shout out to the music on... Ooh, that was unfortunate. I got a little overzealous, a little too close. Shout out though to the music on this stage, which is... Just bubblegum pop in all the right ways. It's very upbeat, up-tempo, makes you feel very good, makes you feel like you are glad to just be alive. All right, unfortunate jump there, jump over this one. Now we need to move fast because if these bricks turn to white while we're on them, they will kill us. To get the collectible in this stage, ooh, unfortunate right there, we need to land on these certain platforms that when we land on them, 
you'll notice a pixel change. That's one of them. I unfortunately fell slightly wrong and did not put a collect or a checkpoint right there. All right. I'll just do an extra death like that just for the sake of bringing in a little extra donation. So we want a checkpoint there. We are going death abuse back. Oh, I did that slightly slow. Like I said, this is very frame and pixel precise of a game. So we are going to go up here and get our collectible. I love to call this stage Dinky King. Why Dinky King? It's a lot like Donkey Kong. We're going to hit a few special spots, but not quite Donkey Kong. It's Dinky Kangish. You know, Donkey Kong adjacent. We're going to put a checkpoint here. We're going death abuse back to that checkpoint. But first we need to activate that little square there. Just imagine playing this casually for the first time when the game first came out, trying to figure out all of these secrets. It is definitely, ooh, I fell slightly off cycle. It is definitely a challenge trying to figure out how to find all these collectibles first time. It was also a lot of fun to find them. Uh, Fred Wood really makes really cool games in that regard. One, two, three, one, two, three. I call this the Waltz. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and three. Fall down here real hard. We break that floor. We get that collectible, fall back down, and we exit the stage. Now, I just got my nerves getting to me a little too much right there. There we go. This game is very easy, by the way. That was a part of the secret. This and this also. So by getting all those secrets, we're going to wait for the cycle. Ooh. We're just going to pay 50 cents to that one. And we're going to go through this little portal that opened to get the collectible there. Fall down very quick, avoid everything. Another stage where we are going to pay the piper or pay for preventing cancer because we've got to do a lot of checkpoint warps. We're going to have one coming up right here. We're going to have another one coming up in just a second. You can do all of these stages with... I did not jump. That was very, very unfortunate of me. Got a little too excited. There we go. We're going to do our death to go there. So important thing, you can beat all of these stages without dying, but it is not nearly as quick but the game will reward you. There is a YOLO award that you get for beating the game without any deaths. Uh, there's a YOLO for each of the categories. We hit four special spots to unlock that jump pad to get us up here. Every time you collect a secret, by the way, in Love 3, it will shut down the traps in the level. So these barrels, they are no longer being generated. Um, you'll notice that is the last one that was right behind me. I always think of this stage as a pinball machine. It very much feels like you are in a pinball machine going the wrong direction. But don't worry, we will also go the right direction. This stage is one that you have to go through uh, forwards and backwards in order to get the 100%. We're going to put a check. Ooh, barely beat me there. So we're putting a checkpoint there because we want to go up here, hit that, hit that. So we hit that upper platform, that unlocked the lower platform so we could hit the lower platform. Put a checkpoint here because we're almost done with the stage, but we now have unlocked the secret. Where is the secret, you might ask? 
all the way back at the beginning. We don't want to use in our checkpoint, so we want to be very careful because then we could use our checkpoint to death warp back to the top and be done with the stage. This is going to be another stage where we are going to... Unfortunately, I made a couple mistakes there. Uh, I was doing very good for doing any percent, not for not for a hundred percent. We want a checkpoint right there because we are going to want to go right back up there after we hit that switch. I'm just taking a few extra deaths because like I said, I am donating 25 cents per. If anyone wants to join me, like I said before, please do. It is for a fantastic cause. And we're going to put a checkpoint right there. By hitting all those switches earlier, we unlock this little room. This little room has a collectible in it. And then we could go ahead and death warp back to the beginning. Yeah, this game, I highly recommend it if you like precision platformers. So right here, we need to get rid of every one of these white bricks. These white bricks will hurt us if we touch them. These guns will eliminate them. However, at the same time, the purple bricks will not hurt us and will respawn if we give them time. Sneak through there. So this game, I need an audio cue, one second. All right. You might have heard bink, bink, bink. That was me destroying some white bricks up above. I highly recommend this game if you want one that is a precision platformer, a speed friendly game, because as you can see, Fred Wood included a speed timer that is frame perfect timer. Uh, the leaderboards for this game do actually use the in-game timer because of how well it is programmed. But if you want a very friendly, but hard game, this is a perfect one. That beep was what I needed. So we are now, we don't want to reset our checkpoint at all. We do not want to die also. So we are going to be very careful right here but we can go through this area just open because of everything we destroyed, the white blocks. And now we could go here, sneak through. You might remember I mentioned those helipods were coming back. Well, guess what? They are back. We're going to take some extra deaths because we're going for a harm percent. We're going to these special areas that will kind of click and allow us to open up a new area. By the way, if you know the game Flappy Bird, this controls like Flappy Bird on a professional level. This is professional grade Flappy Bird. That was the final one of those. And it, I'm taking a safety checkpoint right there because this controls really bad on purpose. Remember, 5'8 is not somebody who is operating these on a regular basis. So we just destroyed this stage and now we have the midterm exam. What is the midterm? We have four little exams we need to do, four of these. First, we're going to get the collectible. It's not part of the exams. The exams are in each corner. You can see one right there. If you collect all four of those little tokens, there's another one it will unlock a jump pad that will jump you the end of the stage. We're not doing that. We're cheating on our exam. By the way, I'm going slow. So here is Milo and Bork, a little kitty and doggy. You don't need to see that, but it's a little bonus. We just cheated through our midterm exam. And by cheating through, we, we took the driver's exam and we stole the driver's ed car. We stole it and left the building. And by stealing it, we did not have to do the other parts of the exam. And that actually saved us about a minute. 
I mentioned before, I do not do much in the way of out of bounds or glitches. That one is not out of bounds or a glitch. That is entirely just a way to cheat your way through. I did not mean take that extra death. And now we've got some more Dinky King. We are back to more Dinky King action. It is just like we're dealing with Donkey Kong. And we want to hit those two blocks and that unlocks what unlocks the secret. But it's not the secret in itself. Instead, it just unlocks what we need to get to, which is coming up right up here, right at the very end. We stand there and the world goes in reverse. And by it going in reverse, we get this portal back to the very beginning and we could get our collectible and away we go. So we're going to take some extra intentional deaths on this stage to get a harm percent because we're going to have helipods again. An important thing about helipods, they can destroy any of these walls that are dotted walls. These dotted walls that disappear, we hit it and it causes things to destroy and the helipod will do the same thing. So we're just going to destroy these. Uh, there are five of them. We want them gone. And now we're done. But don't you want to see what's in there, Hepinwana? Eh, not yet, not yet. You're getting ahead of yourself. We will be back there, don't worry. We'll go back and see what it was I opened up. But first, there we go. So this is what was here. But we put our checkpoint over here for a good reason, and there we go. I am going to take the marathon safe route on this stage and not the speed route, because the speed route is incredibly dangerous. Uh, if it works right, you save probably about 10 seconds, but if it doesn't work right, you lose, oh, about a minute, potentially. So we're taking it a little bit safer. We want to hit the right hit the left. If you hit the left first, nothing would happen. So you had to do right first, then left. Here is a very fast one of these. If you stop moving, it will kill you. We hit that one and that created jump pads. Using those jump pads, we go up here. This is not the secret. You might think it looked like the secret. It looked like a secret collectible. No, it opened this door and this here was the secret. Like I said, love three, the stages. If you are brand new to the game, it is so much fun to play casually to try and discover where the secrets are. Ooh, slightly quick on one of those jumps. So here we are going to take a few intentional deaths. That one unlocked this. That lets us hit that. It is all about finding the spots that we need to go to. And that there was the secret. As I once again mishandle, ooh, mishandle a jump or two. And by the way, oh, this guy is in the wrong spot not where I want them to be. We are getting near the end of this run. So like I said before, I'm going to donate 25 cents per death. We are seeing a whole lot of deaths. You know it, I know it, we all know we are seeing the deaths. As I run on these dotted platforms, you'll see that half the dots disappear. You could probably tell what the secret is tied into. You'll also notice there's an intentional death there because I want to go that last checkpoint, save a little time. You'll also notice the ceiling keeps getting lower. So you do have good jump control on this game to control the height of your jumps, but it is very tricky to get used to. So casually playing, this stage is a nightmare. 
But once you get used to it, this whole game is a lot of fun as a speed game. If you want a good fun speed game, this is very much a great one because there is no RNG. The music is always good, so you're always going to have fun with the music. Oh, slightly missed on that one. These barrels move at the same speed as you, so we could take advantage of that to just keep moving with them. We're going to take a... Ooh, I thought I put my checkpoint somewhere else. A little more water. Uh, we do have a couple more uh, water stages coming up. Then this is just tricky because we are... I'm going to take it a little safe right here. Or, huh, I want to take it safe. There we go. These stages are not easy at all, but it is so much fun. Here we're in a abandoned building. The elevator shaft is out of order. We're going to take a helipod. By destroying these walls, we're taking a secret a shortcut. Then if we take the helipod up here, if you're doing any percent, this is how it gets, ooh. If you're doing any percent, this is how it gets through the stage in a hurry but we actually are not nearly done yet because this is not any percent, this is a harm percent. Take the helipod up to there. Let's try and do that a little better, there we go. And now, once again, we will take our helipod back up. These helipods control really bad. Uh, they are very flappy birdish. And now we are entering the penultimate run or penultimate level of this run. But this game, personally, it is one of those games that you could just play for fun. It is super chill. Like it is incredibly fun. It's interesting. The music is great. Each stage having its own song is fantastic. We just shut down all the blades. Let's try that again. Oh, I am just barely hitting that poorly. And no matter how good you get at this game, <laughs> it will still always find ways to punish you. I am just hitting that slightly off. I am, there we go. And now the final stage. This is the only one where I'm going to use a skip of any sort. And it's going to be a minor skip. There are actually a lot of skips in this stage. Uh, if you're doing any percent, um, currently the main category for this, uh, there aren't separate categories for glitch lists and unrestricted, but there are actually things that skip most of this. Come on. Wow, I am not hitting. I am not hitting, there we go. So there are glitches that will let you get through walls. Um, the main any percent for this stage is actually going to skip uh, pretty much most of this stage instead of taking this four room final exam. But I am doing a harm percent, not any percent. We're going to put another checkpoint right there. And time is coming up really, really soon. So if you want to get ready on the timer, we've got about 15 seconds or 10 seconds, somewhere in that range. We, by getting all the secrets, we could open up this bottom exit and time three, two, one, time. So. What happens, um, so one cool thing, Love 3 does include all of the previous Love games, including multiple versions of Love 1 and the original Love that was not a official release. By getting all the secrets, we were able to find, like I said, 5-8 is looking for friends in the post-apocalypse. And guess what? 
you found them. Also, guess what? We, I was saying I was donating 25 cents per death and there are 217 deaths. This game is great because it will show you all of your stats, your time, your frames. And this game does move at 60 frames per second. So you can actually just uh, figure out your time by dividing your frames by 60 and then some. But looking at this with 217 deaths at 25 cents per death, I'm going to donate 54.25. Great. You know, it, like I said, a few extra debts I probably added in just to make sure I was donating for this great cause because F cancer, you know what F means, but at the same time, F cancer at the same time because fight cancer, forget cancer, just get rid of cancer, F cancer, because we've got to, you know, We've got to fight this horrible disease and we've got to continue having great speed runs and great events like this. And of course, coming up next is going to be some Final Fantasy IV goodness. So stick around. Thanks for having me. Fight cancer, F cancer. Be good to each other. Take care of yourselves. Thank you, Game Over Cancer, for having me. And I always love to remind people, as you saw as I ran through this, Trans rights are human rights. Love each other. Love everyone. Thank you for having me. I've been Juana. Thank you so much. Everyone will be right back with Final Fantasy Worlds Collide. Stay tuned. We'll be back here shortly.